Peace, love, and light to you all. <laughs> to you all. Come on into the room. You already know who it is. <laughs> it's the girl named T.D. Janae. Back at with another one. Come on into the room, family. Come on in. Come on in. The water is definitely fine. Hydrating ourselves with coconut water today as we are repairing and healing our DNA, okay? <laughs> I know. Come on, Stan. You wasn't doing nothing before. Ashe, Ashe, come on into the room, family. Mm. Mm. Peace, my love. I love you so much. Peace, peace, peace to the inspiration in the room. Everybody, go ahead and follow them. Beautiful, Miss. And if you, excuse me if I'm saying your name wrong, Taisha. You know what I'm saying? She goes by the raw God. She's inspiring me to do my master cleanse and inspiring everybody out here to look into mucoid plaque and, you know, heal, womb healing and breathing techniques. So go ahead and follow the fellow healer in the room uh, and join her, um, her journey to self-love group and heal thyself group. Got you, girl. I love you so much. Give thanks. I thank you so much for the inspiration that you give. So I would like to... First of all, I like everybody to take a deep breath because this is about to be a very beautiful channeled message. Also, um, I got this message from also um, a, a YouTube video that I clicked on uh, that literally is just a, a universal message. Um, it's from Veronica Jean Lewis of Higher Realm Holistics on YouTube. So um, I just want to go ahead and give credit where it's due and I'm grateful for this beautiful being of light to bring out Thoth's message. I should have put that in the um, description. This is also a message from Master Thoth, um, Hermes, whatever you want to call him, Tehuti, um, that this message, just, I got the same exact message. I just didn't uh, broadcast it when I got it. But the time is now. Literally the time is now to step into our purpose and when we it's time to work it's time to work so I'm not here to play games with you guys as you can see I'm a healer so I'm healing myself right now <laughs> but um, I got this because I was in stepping into who I truly am the true essence of my love and um, I want to you guys to let you know that uh, I really do care for this message to get out. It, it really resonated with me when I heard it. And um, when when I came across this message on YouTube, I was just going to pass it. But when um, the when I was about to pass it, the birds started chirping hard as fuck. Like, literally, the birds talked to me. So, I... See? <laughs> so, I would like everybody to um, understand as well when coming into this message. If you hear something from... Uh, outside noises but it's not outside it's all only inside so if something resonates with you if I say something profound uh, the universe is gonna back it up with some confirmation with birds with the um, with uh, uh, noises of uh, man-made things you probably hear a honk you probably hear a boom there's a, lot, there's a lot of construction going on over here for some reason and there's a reason why so um, I wanted for you guys to understand and be aware to these confirmations as I'm uh, receiving and giving the message uh, that's um, and you know here and if you see a butterfly pass by or you see anything just you know you know what I'm talking about so before I get into this message I'd like to give a, a brief um, description of who I am for those who just chime on to who, this channel or this um, this broadcast my name is Nitiri Janae <laughs> and um, I am a channeler I am a gifted intuitive reader and um, I'm, I'm a light worker here on this earth plane. Um, it's been uh, said that, or I've just discovered that I'm actually an archangel in, a, in this vessel. So, um, and, be, and for a while I've been neglecting that. I've been neglecting work here um, because I was scared to really tap in truly into my power and I was um, really listening to the voices of those who are just aspects of myself and just listening to the, the, the demons, if you wanna say, if you wanna call it something, the lower thought forms of what I'm here to do and what I'm truly am, like they trying to tell me that, to shut up, don't speak, you don't know shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I know that what I have for 
myself is what I have for the world and vice versa. What the world has for me is what I have for myself. So I'm gonna just let you guys know that I'm not playing games anymore. And um, this really truly resonates with my heart. I'm fully stepping into my healing role and ability here as for all of you who are light workers as well. I'm a master number 11 and I just got my numerology chart done and apparently I've reincarnated here and reincarnated here on this earth plane 20 times. So I have a lot of wisdom and knowledge encoded in my energy into, into my DNA that is being unlocked because of my environmental um, situation, not even situation, blessing and uh, because of the intention of stepping into my purpose and you can do the same you can do the same I want I want everybody to know that um, I'm gonna use this example the example of Jesus Christ who was an ascendant master who was known is known usually um, him as you know originally as Haru or Yahshua um, I want you guys to know that Jesus Christ uh, told everybody that they are all Christ and you are all Christ. You all have the Holy Spirit that's connected to the all inside of you. You, you, and there is a uh, hundred and forty-four thousand chosen here that um, can relay messages beautifully. And if you are one of the hundred and forty-four thousand that's here on this earth plane, it's time to fucking wake up and start waking up the people that you're you're, you're connected to. Start waking up the people that you have soul connections to. Start getting into your purpose. Start doing things with purpose and passion. <laughs> I love the universe. And you know what I'm saying? So it's time. That's the, that's the, the wake-up call. You know what I'm saying? And I want everybody to know that this is serious now and we're coming into a time and those of you that I did invite into the room I invited you for a reason I clicked on your name for a reason I was randomly sometimes I was randomly clicking and sometimes I chose people so who I invite into the room share this video right now because you have souls that needs this message right now to um, <clears throat> to spread to awaken to enlighten to enlighten their heart get the the weight of their heaviness the heaviness of not truly being who they are not truly stepping into their essence and power not truly knowing what thyself you know stepping into a new realm a new way of thinking a new realm of being because this is all thought we are all in our, in our minds and you have came onto this broadcast because there's an aspect of in, in your mind an aspect of you I am a, a reflection of the aspect of you who's here to awaken you and enlighten you and also within myself and I want to let you guys know that yes everything is self but we are all aspects of self we are all everything is the all everything is God everything is energy but we are all we are all fragments of the consciousness all fragments of the all so yes that yes there's people in this earthbound body there's uh, energies in this earthbound body but there's also energies on another um, realm and the plane of existence something that we cannot see yes everything is all in one plane uh, but there's also dimensions that you cannot see you know what I'm saying there's dimensions that you cannot see with your physical eye there's beings of light and and also beings of darkness here that you can and because you have a vessel because you have a consciousness because you have something that can be tangibly taken over and if you're not mentally strong enough mentally strong and being strong in your energy because th thought is energy you can be t taken over by a, a negative entity if you're not careful and you can also be channeling a lighter energy a lighter entity so that's what I'm gonna be doing for you guys right now I'm gonna be channeling uh, the everything I already did my prayer before I came on this live um, um, I'm gonna be channeling energy from the ascended masters. I'm gonna be channeling energy from the trees and from the birds and everything that I am of light. All right, so I just want you guys to get that. <laughs> and 55 is right there. 55, five, the number of change, uh, the number of um, uh, growth, the number of expansion, the number of um, freedom. And this is mentally setting people free, spiritually setting people free, energetically setting people free. So I just like to. Um, say that first and foremost I love myself <laughs> and um, I want to just give credit when it's due to Master Thoth give credit to what is due to all the people that um, sparked my journey uh, there is Chief a Master Chief Leader of Christ there's uh, Ralph Smart there's Chanel Cooper Sykes there's Abraham Hicks there's um, you know just the people in my life even my family members even the people around me my friends everything that that is me I, I'm gonna give credit to myself for sparking my own journey so um, with that being said, Ashe, and let's get into this message.
I feel like, and I feel right, something right here that's have a hold on me, literally. So I know that some there's an energy with me right now that's um, helping me with this message. All right. And I know I forgot something to say, but it's going to get sparked in me later on. So anyway, I'm going to give you this diagram that um, Miss Veronica had said, um, I had shown in her, um, in her video. And I have some notes here as well. So listen up, this is, this, is a, this is the classroom now. So this is the diagram that she's shown. This is the all, right? Hold on. Hold on for a second, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling something. <coughs> oh, okay, so I want everybody to have an open mind. I'm gonna ask that everybody to have an open mind to what I'm about to say because in, um, there's going to be periods of denial. There's gonna be uneasy feelings and you're going to experience some jolts in your body if this truly resonates with you, if that's, uh, uh, I'm speaking to somebody right now, that's going to um, give you confirmation. Some people is gonna be breaking spells. Some, oh my God. Some people is gonna be actually crying. Some people is gonna actually be coming into who they truly are. And people is gonna really realize something about their situation that they really, it's, it's act, the universe is telling you to act now. And um, I just wanna tell you guys the side effects of listening to some things because some people's bodies, which is their, their mind, because the body is the mind, so your, your, your mind, your body is going to react a certain type of way when you're being awakened. Your eye might twitch, you might jolt, you might, uh, if when you're being convicted by a sound, by vibration, and it really resonates with you, you're going to feel something and you're gonna hear something, you're gonna see something. And um, oh, also a confirmation, if you see a, 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 um, a notification drop down as um, I'm saying something, that's, some, that's a confirmation as well. Take everything as, you know, a confirmation. All right, I just wanted to say that something was compelling me to tell you guys that. So going into message, oh my God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad for these birds. All right, so this is the all, right? This is the source, this is source creator, all right? And I'm gonna let you guys know, I remember being reincarnated here. So this diagram is just a perfect diagram to, sh be, to be shown. Right here, this is source creator, which is all, this is the thought. You know, you, you divide from a, the, the thought. And as a, a fragment of the thought, you shine down here as a soul, S-O-L, soul. So you came from the all, and you came into the, and this is this is this diagram is showing um the the soul birth, okay? So boom, you now you're a soul here from that creator God's come from the all. And you came here, you was birthed in a neutral state. You was birthed in a neutral state. Okay? In this neutral state, you can either go and take the path. Now you have by free will. By your free will that you've been given to here um, on this earth with this consciousness, with your free will, you can take the positive route or the negative route, which you want to go the positive route. <laughs> I thought the fucking part. Okay, so um, as you're going to, po but it's okay if you know you waver. There's people that waver. It's okay if you go the negative route, and but it's good. To know if you go the negative route, you need to start going. And you, it's okay to notice it and be like, okay, I'm going the positive route now. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, that happened in my personal journey. I um I noticed I was going the negative route. I noticed I was giving my... And I'm going to tell you what the negative route consists of. You know what I'm saying? Well, I just got a notification. That's wonderful. So um, there's people here. And, and this, we all know that we are all thoughts, you know? So... When it comes down to life, there is inorganic life and there's organic life. Uh, the organic life is us. We are organic life. The life that has consciousness, the life that has, the, the inorganic life is the, the, the human souls, the plant souls, the animal souls, the elemental souls, like the spirits that live on here on the earth that are elementals. Those are inorganic, that those are organic, organic souls. And since we are all birthed with an, uh, at a neutral state, we, we, we can feel a pull between 
the positive and a negative side. Think of it as of consciousness. This is consciousness. Of course, this is all consciousness. But think of this as the devil or the angel on your shoulder. Okay? And you know how they be like listening to this side and listening to this side. The devil's on the left side trying to tell you shit on this shoulder. And the angel's on this side trying to tell you shit on this um on this shoulder right so do you sometimes when you're in your journey you're gonna go through a, a trial of tests and, and trials and tribulations and you're gonna be being pulled by each side especially if you're in this neutral state because you're able to you know so go either left or or and that's the lukewarm stage right so um so you bat constantly battle between your, your higher self and your lower self and you're constantly in battle with the positive and the negative. You're constantly in this in the battle. So I want you to know that when you start to go the positive route, you, and this is just a, a diagram showing that all leads up back into source. So you can go the positive route and go back up and get absorbed back into source energy as a positive light being, or you can go back into source as a, a negative being and be reincarnated. As that, and if you try to, and this is a message as well um, for light workers, is um, it's time to be all in, and this is what Miss Veronica spoke, spoke about, and it's what she uh, channeled from Master Thoth. And let me say this as well: um, she also said that Master Thoth is here on this earth plane; he's reincarnated here. And this is what I was, and this is the message that I was um, forgetting to mention earlier. When I was getting uh, taught, I'm one of his students here as well. Paused? Fudge. Can anybody hear me? Am I okay? Is it, can anybody see me? Someone tell me in the um, comments if they can hear me and see me. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um, so, um, the one of the, like, there's people that's within the 144,000 that are Thoth students, you know, um, this higher realm of consciousness, um, that this thought, um, this higher thought frequencies, students here. That means um, we're able to tap into higher knowledge and able to uh, understand it. And because we have done it in other lifetimes as well, we're able to. We're here on this earth plane to speak our knowledge, speak our truth, and enlighten and be enlightened. And um, how do you know if you're a light worker? I'm going to get back into that question in a second. And um, for a while, I've been seeing these birds that represent, that re as um, look like the Thoth bird. I think it's called a biscuit bird or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. But for a while, like, especially, especially like the two months ago, I've been. It's, it's, it's okay. Two months ago, I've been seeing the bird, the Thoth bird, and I knew that it was my time to awaken. I knew it was my time to. Um, and receive the message and speak my truth but me being in a state of fear me was I was like I wasn't I felt like I wasn't ready I felt like um, I felt like I just wanted to live my life I didn't I didn't want to take on a responsibility but it's more it's more it's more than just me you know what I'm saying so um, the confirmation I received that I was um, getting messages from Master Thoth because it wasn't the first time he um, that this thought frequency has shown itself to me um, through this physical realm. I've, I'm seeing it, I've seen it when I first got my first Egyptian tarot deck cards and I first tapped into that energy. I've seen the ascended masters around me looking at me, literally looking at me. And I got scared and I was like, yo, like, yo, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to say something? Am I supposed to impress somebody? Like, like <laughs> I was just like all the, anyway. So anywho, says getting back to the diaphragm, or the diagram, um, I just want to let you guys know that if you are a Thoth student, he's going to appear to you. And this a Thoth, Hermes, is Thoth, Thoth, Thoth. So this Thoth frequency, which is a higher realm frequency, is going to appear to you in different symbolizations, which Miss Veronica got the bird on the highway. Literally, where is this bird coming from that appeared on the highway? And um, this bird might appear to you, or, you know, you might have dreams, like, just certain things like that. So it's good to be aware to this consciousness. And what you're aware to, what you're conscious of, is what you're going to see. So it's good to get in, into your research if you are one of the 144,000. All right? So getting back to this. It's time to be all in or all out, light workers. It's time to get fully into your purpose or 
just if you're not getting to your purpose then what just you know what i'm saying like it's time to get fully into it it's time to step into your power because when you're fully into it you're able to give your hundred your all your hundred percent and when you give your hundred percent there's no way that you're and you're doing your best there's no way that you will feel doubtful about anything you know what i'm saying i i, I feel like um when i'm doing my best the best i can do i feel that's enough and you want to feel like you're doing your best always so it's time to put your feet all in and it's time to step into your true essence of who you truly are and stop giving your power away and i'm gonna get back to that in a second um do not be half in because if you're half in you will have you'll feel like some resentment you know what i'm saying and hi puka duke wow this oh man this this dog is so beautiful um um and it's one, one example that she she used is oh I don't like humans oh I, I'm a sick of being here and some um, light workers you're gonna feel like you're sick of being here like literally you're not gonna want to be here anymore you're gonna look into the stars and like take me home like I literally I was like that I was just like yo I look into the stars sometimes and I'm like yo I, I want to go home I want to be up there I want to be I don't want to be here, but that's not the way to go. You have a purpose here. You can't just be like, oh, um, I don't want to be here. All these humans, I'm separating myself from the world. Y'all do me. I'm gonna da 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 da. You can't be that way. You have a responsibility here. You signed up for this. You signed up for this. <laughs> And as much as sometimes you don't want to deal with certain people, the videos, fuck, what do you mean it's sticky? Oh my gosh. Please let this podcast be completely, completely clear. Oh my gosh. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys, is it okay now? Is the broadcast okay now? Let me know, because I want to make sure this is... And don't worry, because this is going to be on my YouTube. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to save this video. And um, I'm going to put it on YouTube. So when you get this message, you know, um, it won't be as glitchy when I save it. You know what I'm saying? So well, I'm, like I'm saying. So we've been, we've been feeling like we want to go home. Like this place is like, damn, but we came here to raise up the vibrational frequency of this earth. And the message that I got the other day while I was watching... Uh, the avatar and oh like there's gonna be some movies that you need to watch to awaken you these movie these film writers out here they know what the fuck they're doing these film writers out here they they have they they've been given they're channeling there's just some channelers that took in the job as film writers so there's gonna be some movies that's gonna activate you that you need to start watching you know what i'm saying get into like some 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 uh documentaries you know some movies out here are not just movies, they're documentaries. So like um, the Matrix or the uh, the Avatar thing. You know, I got this message while I was getting Avatar. Like it's time for us to awaken, and um, it's time for me to truly step into who I am, truly step into my power, and also get the message out. And the message is to connect to nature. My message is connect to nature because I knew that nature is God and God is nature, and we are of nature. We are nature, and we've forgotten that being in the Babylonian system. We forgot that. And shout out to Chief Legio the Christ for getting this message out. Like we have. To to really connect to nature, ne? Literally to connect to what we are, the ground, the earth. You know, we are of the earth. We are of the stars as well, but we are of the earth because the earth is of the stars too. This earth is a, is a whole star. This whole the earth is a sun. This earth is just, it's it's. And you know what? I want to let you guys know that. Um, that and that's the message I received at uh sixteen sixteen. And I got that message, and I looked. I said, I said to my baby, like, what time is it? And he's like, it's sixteen, sixteen, or what, whatever, nineteen, nineteen, whatever that um, number was. And look at angel numbers as well. That the universe is talking to you. You're talking to yourself through numbers. You know what I'm saying? Remember that this is all your mind. This remember that this is all you. Remember, this is all you. So you're able to narr you're, you're able to navigate yourself, and you're able to hear your your narration, the narration of the movie, the narration of the story. This is a storybook too. So let me, and I haven't seen Get Out yet, but I've, I guess I gotta see Get Out. Thank you for that, Hassan. So getting back to the message, um, it's time for us to awaken. You know what I'm saying? And you can't be all in. I mean, you can't be all out. You can't be all half. You gotta be fully in. You know what I'm saying? 
And um, if you're a humanitarian here, do things that are humanitarian like you know what i'm saying if you're here to be a light worker to spread light if you claim to be a light worker you need to start spreading light because it can be there's this is a time where the veil is being uplifted the veil is being sh uh, shown the veil is is coming up and entities that are darker can take over your vessel if you're not vibrating high you know we we call them lower thoughts we call them lower self we call them demons you know what i'm saying um but also, you want to know that the same thing can happen with um, light beings. The light beings can help. They're all around you. They can help you. You know, you got to speak that shit into resistance too. Notice that this vessel is here for you to um, channel and um, emit frequencies and absorb frequencies, vibrations. And um, I want you guys to let you, I want to also let you guys know that it's good to vibrate high by getting, getting your nutrients getting exercise, taking care of your body, keep taking care of your thoughts, because this is what happened to me, why I'm, why I'm I, like this, my thoughts were this way, you know what I'm saying, my thoughts got me to this state, and um, you want to make sure that you're always thinking positively, because you can manifest sickness in your body if you're not thinking positively, and I'm just showing you a manifestation of that, you know what I'm saying, and um, so yeah. Um, think positively, I'll vibrate high, and this is, I'm also going to get into that while into this, um, getting into this information, and that was a confirmation for somebody in this moment, okay, so, um, I already spoke about we are organic, you can take out, uh, you can take the negative route, or you can take the positive route, and, and, um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, getting into these notes right here. They are, they are angelic they are angelic souls and don't get this twisted angelic souls you can experience this too this so this soul birth every soul every soul s o l goes through this shit everybody goes through this not just the the neutral not just the this not just that yeah i saw 44 too um archangel michael um so thank you archangel michael i'm i'm, proud, I'm I'm, I'm grateful. You're real G. Um, you you can also go through this, right? So, um, just also angelic souls. You can you ever heard of a fallen angel? Have you ever heard of a fallen angel? An angel, an angelic, a light being that fell from grace, fell from uh, their love, the, the who they, their true essence, or who they want, who they were truly meant to be to go towards a path of what they wanted or desire or the what the devil energy would like to express is um everything that you ever wanted but it, it, it's just at a price you know what i'm saying so um you can you can't you can fall from grace i remember my fallen angel stage i remember that and because i'm i'm a very powerful visionary because of my uh, my vibration of 11 i'm able to see things in other realms by um in my imagination as well through um pictures you know what i'm saying so i saw my angels being clicked uh, my angel wings being clicked off or i saw my angel wings turning black or it was just especially when i was with somebody that truly emitted the essence of lower lower vibrations and that's just demonic energy if you want to call it that um and when i was with him um I knew that I wasn't doing the right thing, but I continued to do it. And that's another energy that I would like to tap into. Uh, I would like to not even tap into. I want to express as well. Give me a second. I got to use the bathroom. I'm going to use the bathroom outside. Give me a second. Bro. And we're back. <laughs> I apologize, apologize y'all. So when you gotta go, you gotta go. But anywho, that you can fall from grace, guys. And I want you guys to know that when I came into my uh, initiation, when I earned my wings again, it was one of the best feelings ever. Like, literally, I cleansed myself. 
when I earned my wings, I cleansed myself. I took a spiritual bath. I, um, I started to vibrate high, took the initiative and intention to, to heal and to get the message out, stepping into my purpose. And um, that's when I gained my wings. But you can go through a cycle of getting your wings and getting clipped off, getting your wings and falling from grades, getting your wings and all that. But I'm not getting into that right now. I'm getting into this message. So um, it's time for us to gain our wings light workers and the more light that you just think about it like this like I saw this as this um, the more people I helped the more people the more I stepped into my purpose the more light I was giving the more happiness I was sharing the more I started to uh, consciously waken up myself and uh, do things that were man man humanitarian like because that's who I am I'm a humanitarian the more I stepped into my purpose, the more I saw light getting absorbed inside of me or inside of my wings. So right now I'm imagining these pure white wings um, that's golden and has fairy dust type on them. And I'm going to keep that. Sometimes I, I see one dark, one light. Like, and that, and that, that, that in itself is showing me that I'm balanced or something like that. Or, you know, I'm half in or half out or whatever like that. But any losers. Uh, this is just me. If anybody wanted to um, get a, a visualization of how I see things. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, there are dark angels here. Someone just told me that. I was about to get into this message again, but someone, someone just wanted me to know there are dark angels here. And you can become one. Literally, like if, especially if you have enough power, you, be, you can become a dark archangel here. You can be a dark energy um and that's how you you know gain those black wings that's how you you gain those that that um shit oh fuck like someone needs to know this like you need to start thinking positive thoughts you need to start <laughs> getting into your humanitarian shit you need to start uh spreading light stop and start uh stop stop uh start spreading light just i'm just gonna say that and within yourself first First and foremost, love yourself. Love yourself, and that in that how you, that's how you can understand and love others. Um, because you can be a person that's only like judgmental or spread guilt and manipulate people into thinking negatively about people, and that's those gossipers here. You know, that's those and negative those those vessels here that was taken over by a negative energy that want to just gossip about people and just spread negativity and spread hate about certain people. Um, this is real out here now, y'all. And this is a call for light workers to wake up and start doing your job. Start spreading light because in this time, especially now, when there's a baby boom, y'all see how many star seeds are coming through? It's like, oh, shit. The, the generation before got the fucking distracted. Oh, wait, hold up. We got to send in vessels. We got to send in light. Send in, or not even just that. Send in vessels that have potential to you know go the positive route. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, and because there's people going the negative route. And you know what I'm saying? And um, I want you to know that um, uh, it's up to us now to uplift the consciousness to a, a higher vibrational frequency. What I mean is this. Start doing things that's right for the planet. Start doing things that's right for yourself. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Stop eating bullshit. Stop eating things that's death. Stop inviting death into your life. Stop... Um, and start doing something that's um, enlightening your heart. Step into who you truly are. Step into your light, who you are. You're, you're a being of light. You want to do things. You want to do, you, you want to be who you want to be. And you, you have the choice to be that. You have the choice to be who you want to be. You have the choice to stand your ground and be that angel. You have the choice. You have that within you. This light, this essence, it's, it's, I feel, it's right here. Step into your heart. The earth is shifting. The earth is shifting into a higher realm and frequency. And there's beings around that you can tap into. That you can tap into. <sighs> when you start coming into this, this, um, this, this, this page right here. Oh shit. <laughs> and you just. <laughs> Beings you can tap into, beings of light that you can tap into, that are here to tell you, you know, 
who you are and this is you can you can think about it like this if you're very logical about it and you're very objective about it you can think about it as this different aspects of light angels angles of light this is what chief master chief of the hero of christ have said that sparked me angles of light angels of light angles of thought that are light you know so <laughs> you can tap into these these angels <laughs> literally you can tap you can tap into these angels <laughs> and they can if you're willing if you're able if you want that access um and you can also because if you choose to um stay in a lower th thought frequency you can tap into negative thoughts like demons you can tap into demons And that's not fun, y'all. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I've done that. Been there, done that. Not fun. Okay, going back into the message. I'm thankful. For, I'm thankful for whatever elemental just came through just a while ago. That was beautiful. Um. Um. And you can feel that within your heart, because of the heart chakra. Of the, 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 because we're shifting into the 5D. You know what's the 5D? Um. And this is a good. I don't want anybody knocking this shift. Because. This shift is very important for everybody to understand because it's only a reflection of ourselves. We're being called to shift within ourselves. And that's why the, 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 the earth is shifting. That's why the energy is shifting. That's why, you know, this light work is telling you guys to go to where you can get receive light codes and where you can receive organic foods and vegetables and where there's not being a cancer, where you're not being a cancer to earth. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're being, or not being a cancer to yourself. Everything's fractal. Everything is um, a reflection of you. So I would just want to make sure that you guys know that that's why the call is being so strong right now. And that's why when there's a call, there's also going to be someone that's trying to hang up the call. So that's why the hate is also being um, produced as well. So I just want to say shout out to Carbonation who's, that's giving their... their um, their perspective and showing that it's spreading the light, spreading the wisdom, uh, spreading the knowledge of connecting to nature, eating plant-based and everything like that. But there's more, and there's more. There's more to the story. All right. So, um, giving credit where it's due. I love all of myself. I love my aspects of selves. You know. So, in my personal experience, I saw myself going back and forth with um, my light and my darkness. And I had to realize, had to come to a realization that I am balanced. And I couldn't just um, neglect the darkness because that's what the more it re I resisted, the more it persisted. So um, um, I want to let you guys know when you're in, in when you're, um, if you commit, if you can, uh, if you, uh, if you commit suicide, you'll reincarnate here. If you commit suicide, you'll reincarnate here. Because you need to learn your lessons. There's no easy way out here. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> like, you really thought you can just, oh, I, I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Shoot to another dimension? I don't think so. You're going to have to reincarnate here and learn your lesson. And, you know, go this route until you can absorb back into source. And possibly shoot into another dimension. Shoot into another galaxy. Shoot into another plane of existence. You know what I'm saying? And um, you say you go back and forth a lot, you're possibly in the neutral stage. Because, you know, but you're not, but you're not, but here's the thing, this is what she said. You're not gonna be in that neutral stage for long. You know what you're doing wrong. You know what you're doing wrong. You know better. You know better. You just, now is the time to act and go this way. But if you wanna act, and go the other way, that's on you too, boo. That's on you too. You know, you can learn your lessons and you can choose to go higher and higher and higher. And I'm gonna get to these points in a second. You chose to go higher in your negativity and absorb into it like as a, as a, a negative entity, a negative entity, but who wants that? Who, want, who fucking wants that? There's some people out here that actually have that programming that is programmed to be the negative entity. You know, programmed to be, you know, this certain energy, but you know, all right, man, if you want to follow that, that energy, that's all on you. You know what I'm saying? Because they are um, darker. You can go the darker route, and you be, you can become masters of the darker route. You know what I'm saying? 
there are masters here of the darker route. I'm going to say this again. There's masters here of the darker route. Just like there's masters here. So think about this. Like, this is like the gods, the, the, the Tuhudis, the Buddhas, the Isises. This is all creator, right? And this is the and these are the gods, you know, the gods, the creator that and then you can think of this as the archangels. The archangels, you know, the archangel Michaels, the archangel Gabriels, um, all these beautiful beings. Then you can think of this as um <clears throat> the masters right here. The masters, the uh the people out here that truly even mastered uh you the Abraham Hicks. Them, there you go. The, uh, the channelers, you know what I'm saying? And then you can, you're can you in this realm of the light workers. The light workers here, you know what I'm saying? And then you know this is the when you're starting to just wake up. You're starting to wake up to the positive side. But you also can wake up in a negative side. And start to choose not, you can choose love or you can choose fear. You can choose love and you know help and be a humanitarian. You can choose fear and be selfish and be all about self. And uh, it choose fear about choose fear and um, awakening to fear. Oh, I, I I'm scared about all this stuff. I I'm noticing all these things, but and I know what I'm the what I'm truly here to do. But I'm gonna go this route, this route because this is more comfortable. This is more um, less work. You know, this is more like I want I can do whatever I want. And because the devil want to show you at what you can you can be whatever you want, do whatever you want. Da, 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 you know but just choose not to do anything for the art. Choose not to do, just be selfish. You know, to speak the wrong message. You know, control people's minds. You know, and when you have so much power, you, you level up into master stage. And now, wow, y'all. This beautiful butterfly, like white butterfly, little, I'm so thankful, man. I wish y'all would've saw that. So, that's not, you can't just, you saying go into source without choosing right or left paths of manifestation, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make, that's just basically saying I'm here as a robot, or an empty vessel, not choosing anything for my life. I don't, I'm so scared that I wanna change, I don't wanna choose anything for my life. And even that can lead you into a negative. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, people that are master manipulators, the masters, the masters of the, um, the masters of the negatives are the master of manipulators, the one who has the power, know they have the power to control minds and control people that uh, they start to take over their life. You know what I'm saying? And the only way, this is something, something really important, the only way you can break free from the master manipulators is by raising your vibration, going higher, choosing love, choosing love of self, choosing... Um, Loving yourself, choosing to be your true essence, choosing to uh, choose your own light, go within and um, be the light, be your own light, and not letting somebody absorb your own. Because these these master manipulators, these masters of manipulation, and the masters of the negative, they are they're called uh, soul eaters. Soul eaters, they eat your soul, S O L. They eat your light. They take your light from you. And this can be, and I'm gonna get into this with my baby in a second, cause he has um, some thoughts and stuff like I would like to expand and spark his mind on. And we're gonna get into that in part two. Um, there are people who are uh, soul eaters out here that's continue, that take your light, take your true essence of who you are and use it for themselves. Drain you of your energy, right? Drain you, absorb your light take your it's like uh, they took your heart and now and I experienced this y'all literally I've been with some people that want to take my life and was um, wanting to have their life live through me have it my their way and if it wasn't going their way it was like no way you know like their way or you're just you're not doing the right thing they will manipulate you into thinking that you're just horrible you're terrible you're you're not you're not thinking right you're not acting right and uh, try to make you feel like your true essence isn't who isn't going to do anything for this earth or they make you feel like um that your true essence is is a problem <laughs> 
<laughs> so, um, with that being said, uh, these, uh, yeah, they, they want to have sex with you. Or they want to have intercourse because when they know that they have that tie and you have a, a strong bond, and they have that that soul tie now. They can and you're you're not you're not mentally strong enough. They can now switch up your thoughts. They can now manipulate your mind. And there's a lot of soul eaters out here that's all about sex. You know, you have a lot of soul eaters out here, in um, in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they eat a lot of people's light, and you have a lot of soul uh, light workers out here in the industry as well who's giving light. So um, with that being said. Um, Um, I have experienced both on both sides and both realms and both spectrums because sometimes you got to be a demon to understand them and um, I've been on that negative side before and this is why I'm able to come to you guys with an understanding of it and I'm not here to tell you guys that I am a demon no because I choose not to think that way I just know that um, to be a, a phoenix here to be to be you know to, to know certain things you have to be balanced and we are all balanced but we have to remember that you know we can choose to be vibrating high or vibrating low and yeah so um the only way to break free from the negative is raising your vibration rising to the love and towards the positive okay that's the only way you can break free from a master manipulator is choosing yourself Choosing love, choosing your true essence, and um, vibrating higher, right? Rise above your demons, all right? And um, my soul, my light, and my heart goes out to people who are in the situation because now I'm feeling like this heaviness on my heart. You know what I'm saying? We can all get trapped into these mind games that we play with ourselves, you know? The higher, the, the, and this is just, okay, a fractal piece of self. So these master manipulators out here, it's just an aspect within your mind that are uh, telling you to go the negative right route, or telling you that you're never gonna be nothing, and if you go my way, then you'll be something. And that's like in the industry. You're with a child. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Lois? <laughs> Um, um, so you can't be lukewarm. I apologize, y'all. That, <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm grateful. Um, lukewarm, you're, you're not raising your vibration. You're not learning your lessons. And when you're lukewarm and you're, you're, you're sweet, able to sway to side to side, you're being manipulated by a master manipulator. And that's going towards the negative. So when you're lukewarm about life, when you're lukewarm about your, and you're not, and you're, you're when you're lukewarm side, when you're neutral, you're swinging side to side. side that's um, that's the stage where you're not learning your lessons. You probably know what the good thing to do, but you're like, you know, uh, uh, but I I feel this, but this person's saying this, or I feel like I want to make some positive music, but the the record label saying I should put out ass and cheeks and twerking music um i know that i want to be a basketball player but this uh this baseball playing this um this nine to five right here is paying my bills um i know i want i feel like i want to leave this situation but i'm so attached to this person and i don't know where i'm gonna go without him or without her and that's the, the that's the lukewarm stage when you're that when you're swinging side to side and you're allowing other people to um, manipulate or just um, run your life. Um, examples of that, you know, I've seen plenty of times with my divine feminines, and I'm just gonna say it and be blunt, y'all be getting pregnant by people that are like master manipulators. Y'all, because y'all don't know what to do for yourselves. And I've, I've been through this stage so many times, you know, and I've learned to love myself and actually be with somebody who's in alignment of who I am and who what I'm here to do instead of choosing a life that um, that person wants for me. Because I, I've, just for so long, I didn't know how to think for myself. You know what I mean? 
and that's just um that's just facts you know what i'm saying and vice versa fellas you guys begin trapped by baby by baby mamas that want to have your child and trap you in this relationship because they don't want to let go of you and they want to continuously um spread that negative energy into your life and because you know how to think for yourself oh fucking wow because you didn't know how to think for yourself now you have a, a lifelong contract you have a child <laughs> and um it's not something to laugh i apologize for laughing about it but it's just that i just saw that confirmation that made me laugh and it's just that you know it's time to really wake up to these lessons because there's a lot of there's a lot of children being born and we want to make sure these these are products of love we want to make sure this is these are products of stepping into your your true essence of who you are babies you know what i'm saying we want to make sure that these babies are here to spread a positive message and uplift the vibration not um lower the vibration because the parents um relationships are you know shot because the parents don't know how to communicate or get along with each other and that you know raises a a child that you know has like trauma from their past or you know uh, anger issues and that and the more consciousness that's on this earth you know is contributing we have to make sure that it's raising up the vibration and not creating these these lower vibrating um beings let's just be real and um, logical about it and an uh, objective uh, i just want to make sure you guys know that here on this earth plane there's a baby boom going on and it's up to us to um, make sure that this baby boom goes well this time because there was um, this time in the I'm not in the show in the 90s there was a baby boom and that's how the you know the revolution started and I mean that's how the um, the shift started and um, there was a whole lot of drug abuse going on and a whole lot of wars within the races going on and a whole lot of vi whole lot of vibrational shit so let's let's make sure we um, learn from history and vibrate higher this time on that I know. <laughs> so um I'm thankful y'all I'm grateful man there's something heavy on my heart someone wanna cry right now cause they knew they fucked up I feel you man I feel you and I'm sending you love and don't beat yourself up stop beating yourself up it's okay it's okay Babies are blessings, and um, your life is a blessing. Whatever situation you're going through right now is a blessing. It's a lesson. It's definitely a lesson. So I want to let you guys know that. You are, yes, you can take, you can always choose <laughs> the route for you. You know what I'm saying? If you got manipulated into this route and you signed the contract, and remember, it's contracts, it can be energetically, and it can show up in the physical, but that's still energy, so that's all the energetic. You sign a contract, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to feel like your your life is doomed forever or whatever like that. Vibrate higher, choose what's best for yourself, and um, do your best to not avoid that shit. <laughs> Lift that shit up. How do you, all right, well, how do you handle contracts? energetically break it and yeah someone just asked about soul ties so that's an alignment um i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna just say something that i've done and just leave it here because there's a many t ways you can break soul ties but if you know you have a soul tie and it's a toxic soul tie and it's a soul tie that's not bettering you and leading you down a, a, a negative route you can energetically cut the cord um, visualize it, you know, just visualize the cord between you and this person, that golden cord, and cut that shit, and see it disintegrating, and, you know, sending that person love, hug that person, and see you guys going out separate ways, and you can do that visualization as much times as you need to, so that you start, when you start doing that in the spiritual, you start to see that in the, in the physical, when you start doing that mentally, you start seeing it play out into your reality, because all is mental, and so when you start having a thought, about you know letting go and having the intention to letting go of somebody automatically the universe is going to give you that because this is all you you know you're going to give you what you're desiring but you're also going to be giving you you're giving yourself what you're thinking about you know what i'm saying 
a cow mooing. Yeah, the cow is mooing for confirmation. <laughs> um, I'm in the tropics. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to hurry up and finish up this broadcast. And come back with a part two with my husband. I can love him. Um, all souls must go to this process. This is basically like the soul birth. This is why we're here on earth. We choose our we with our own free will that we've given. We choose what route we want to be, where we want to go. And we all get absorbed back into source either way. You know what I'm saying? But um, sometimes... You gotta be reincarnated, and this is why. Um, sometimes I feel like in my past life, and I'm try, I'm deep, I'm deep in deep into my energy right now, and it makes me wanna cry. I felt like in my past life I chose the negative route, and I'm back here to choose the positive. I'm back here now, cause and I'm so scared. To be honest with you, I feared going the negative route, and that's when I started. When I started going the negative route, I I started seeing that it was nothing to fear. It was just a choice. Everything is me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it was nothing to fear. I was so afraid of it that I actually was being that. And um, now I'm choosing to do the positive thing, do what's right with me, what truly resonates with me, and the aspect of God that wants to be expressed through me will be expressed. How do you feel about tarot and thing? I do tarot. I feel like that's something that resonated with me, so um, I do it. And I feel like I've done it in past life. I feel like I have a gypsy soul. And this also started within the gypsies, you know what I'm saying? With the terror readings. Um, and um, I don't feel like it's as demonic as people wanted to make it seem. Um, I tried to run away from that. I tried to run away from tarot and uh, divination readings because of uh, religion and what the religion said about it and try to demonize it. But I haven't, since I've been doing tarot and oracle deck readings, I feel so connected to spirit, so connected to my energy, so connected to higher realm beings that also helped me through the re uh, readings and through my me uh, my mediumship. I it basically stepped into my power through tarot. So I don't feel like it's demonic. It's anything, everything's energy, so it's what you make it. You know what I'm saying? There are, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna lie, there are some, there are going to be some people out there that manipulate the stuff and everything like that. But as long as your intention is purely, truly pure, you can get to the point where you don't need them tarot cards. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing my best to get to that point. I, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm on my journey. Still on my journey. I'm young. Very young. And um, I'm, I'm getting to the point where, you know, I'm asking questions and I'm seeing everything. That's, this is all my mind. And I'm tapped in, tuned in, and turned on. And... Pretty soon I won't need them. Pretty soon I can just read you without cards. Pretty soon I'll get to the point where I'm just reading energy because you are me and I understand you. So I don't think it's as demonic as people say it is. Um, I feel like a lot of uh, this, and this was in the, um, the dark age, people blinded people from certain things and tools to have them not love themselves to have them step into another consciousness of not knowing you know and judging and um being um to a point where it's like all right well we're gonna keep you from who you truly are and keep you from these tools that will help you to um tap into your dormant dna to into your your gifts and or tap into your dna your energy that you forgot you've forgotten to use that's what they've done a whole lot in um, in certain religions, and um, they've taken the with some African um, ways of life and religions and demonized it, so we're not able to tap into ancestral DNA or ancestral um, memories of how to do things because they demonize it so much. It's just basically like people saying a witch is some demonic force, but a witch is just a, a herbalist, a healer that was deemed a witch in a back pack in the past lives because these people came in and they didn't understand what they were doing. They didn't see, they saw the magic and was afraid of it. But the magic is just energy. Magic is just energy. It's just the miracles that can happen within within pure intention, especially using the elements of the earth. And to be honest with y'all, 
I'm really just channeling this information and um, I'm really I'm really glad to have such a beautiful souls such so many past lives that I'm able to tap into and feel and give you guys my opinion give you guys my my, my standpoint on it how I view it because those are just facts to me same way as the black cat exactly the black cat is um I believe that they said that you witches or whatever use the black they had the black cats around them black they they're gods they're they're they're, they're spiritual companions cats are really spiritual beings so if you're doing a lot of energetic work energetic work then cats are there to you know steer away negative energies so you can keep their your space vibrating high uh anyways um i'm going to finish this message dark be darker beings called soul eaters they're here to they it's like you sold your soul to the devil literally and it's like you sacrificed your life so they can take it and mold it and shape it into their life to their way of thought the way of living and giving it's like you giving your life away sacrificing your life is giving your life away and give that's basically giving your mission away giving away your true essence is giving your mission away and especially if you're a light worker here and you have to be careful light workers out here you have to be careful about that because there are people here that's um here to take you away from your mystery and um, they don't they might not be intentionally trying to do it but it's happening it was happening I'm gonna put that in the past tense and giving your life away is basically giving your mission away because you incarnated here on earth to do a certain thing to awaken a certain person to to craft a certain craft or be a certain person but you if you're giving who you're truly meant to be to somebody else and putting on a persona of someone else someone different then you you taking the negative route and they need your life so force because their their light is so dim so um, that's why they need your light and people who are very angelic have angelic very light souls um, like just like this where there's the masters of healers that's the masters of manipulators. So you can be visited by an opposite of yourself because everything's fractal. Everything has an opposite side. So because I am a light, a very powerful light being, I can be encountered by a very powerful master manipulator. And it's up to me whether I can choose to stay on my route and vibrate higher or go where they're at and vibrate that way and be absorbed into source that way. Stop giving your power away. That's my last word I'm gonna say. Stop giving your power away. <clears throat> but that being said, everybody, peace, love, and light to you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for being with me on this message. I thank you, the universe, for the message. I feel completely cleared. I feel like whatever I'm gonna say next or whatever we're gonna build on, it's going to be you know beneficial in that way. I'm gonna end this right here. I wanna say thank you for everybody giving me the energy in this moment in time and spreading the love and spreading the light. I'm thankful for all all people that's here on this um, live. And I, if, I, if I haven't gotten to your question, I apologize. But if you have any questions, please ask them now as I'm scrolling. You know what I'm saying? Ask your question right now. You know, uh, sword, cord cutting, you can ask a, a healer about that as well. Someone who's actually been doing spiritual work. And um, I've been learning all this on my own, but I know that's good to have a mentor. You know what I'm saying? I know it's good to have somebody to look up to and somebody to help you through you know getting helping you get into your purpose so my healing is not just and this is the thing with me and my lap path and my vibration I have I have two paths but these two paths is going to merge into one so I know that um, I love to sing and I heal through singing 
um, but because you know what's going on right here, you know. Um, uh, and um, I'm gonna use my talents and gifts and abilities to make a better world, to step into my purpose, step into my goals and dreams. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I love to teach. I'm a math, I'm a master number eleven, so I love to teach. I love to be taught. I love to learn. And I love to express. I'm here to express because I have been here many times, and I am because I because I am very intuitive. I'm here to also speak, you know. So I, I'm gonna do my best to put through, through that through song, and my baby's gonna help me. And um, I just want you guys to be on the lookout and hold me accountable for my music, please, because I know that's my gift. Well, not hold me accountable, like literally. I, I mean, like you know. Because that was something I was afraid of, you know, in the past. But any users. Um, <laughs> my baby's a nine. He's a nine, life path number nine. And um, nines and elevens are very incompatible. So I'm just, I know this is a blessing from the universe. Where's Meek? He's inside. We're about to get off. And he's about to come on if he wants to. And we're about to, we're going to build together. I fucking love that man. <laughs> um... Oh, the yellow butterfly just came through with new beginnings and happiness. Um, what's a good m method to wear off negative energy? Um, I like to use sage. I like to envision um, a force field around, a light force field around my home and around my body. I like to um, just keep vibrating high because when you're vibrating high and you have so much light, you tend to repel the negative energies, but also because negative energies can be as flies as well. They want to fly toward your energy. You can also attract some people. But when you're when you're prayed up, I, I pray up and stay prayed up, prayed up to my days up, <laughs> you know, speaking positive thoughts, speaking positive words into my life because I know I have that power. Uh, that's how I, um, I wear off negative energies. I tell them to go in the name of peace and love and light. You know, and I tell the negative energy to stay away, and I tell the angels, the angles of light, the angels to come and camp around us, and camp around me and my family, and keep the negative energy away. Hope that answered your question. Nothing is separate, sis. You are on one path. We are, yeah. Like I said, like, but actually in my is Lily said that in my astrology I'm torn between two paths but it all leads into one path in the, in at the end of the day so I'm a, it's merging you know what I'm saying there's this spiritual teacher side of me that wants to you know express you know my my you know energies I'm a mass number 11 but I also have the vibration of seven as my soul urge which is, which is the spiritual number so I am always I'm into the occult knowledge I'm into the metaphysics and all this other stuff and there's also the um, the creative side of me, that um, the the one that wants to get into as uh, showbiz or want to get into the arts, the music, the artistry of everything, and I'm gonna I have to combine those two together. You know, what I'm saying that and that just combines into conscious music <laughs> that can that can be into conscious arts. You know, that can be into anything, intuitive art, and also um, manifesting art. You know, I manifest through art, and so does my my husband. So, if you want something. I know what I'm saying. But anyways, um, that's it, y'all. I'm gonna, um, I love you guys. I love you too, sis. I love you too. I love y'all too. Are you familiar with karmatic debt? Yes, I'm familiar with that shit. I have a lot of karmatic debt. Or I had in the past tense. I'm not gonna claim that shit no more because I've been working on myself and clearing out my karmatic debt. So, um, one of my things I was indebted to was... not being who I truly am and who I am truly is a blessing to this earth it's just like how who you are truly is a blessing to the earth you know what I'm saying so um, now I'm being my tr my um, my true self my north node my north node is in Scorpio all right y'all I love you guys for any other questions I'm gonna chime on I'm a, with my husband and um, with that being said, I love you guys. Peace, love, and light to you. Share this video to save a life and call in all light workers. Last channel message.
calling all light workers. It is now the time to spread your light. It's time, now the time for you to wake up. Step into your true essence of who you are. Stop giving away who you truly are to a system, to a being, to your lower self. It's time to raise higher. You came here for a purpose and a reason. And it's to, to uplift the earth's vibration and become one with the earth. Become with one with your true essence. I love you. Love yourself and know who you are. Peace, love, and light to you guys. Ashe. I love myself. <laughs>